Today on Be More Lifestyle, Oprah's longtime makeup artist and friend, special tips for the aging women from Reggie Wells, plus spreading sex education through rhyme. Be More Lifestyle. Now, here are your hosts, Shardell Moore and Christina Denny. Let's start off every Friday with a dance party because it is our favorite day of the week. Oh, look at you, Christina. I see yeah. you. And I like the pink. Yes, this is pretty good. And Very pink. springy. We're ready for Easter. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm Shardell Moore. Happy Friday, folks. And I'm Christina Denny. I second that. Welcome to Be More Lifestyle. We're about to get some makeup tips from Oprah's former makeup artist and friends. You don't want to miss that. And we're also talking to a local participant from the TV show Naked and Afraid, which is one of my favorite shows, so cool. about her experience. <laughs> Experience. And we're also getting serious today, spreading awareness about sexual assaults. That's right. But first, let's take a look at what's happening around town. So tonight, you could head to the Hippodrome to see Rocktopia live on their national tour. Now, it's a fusion of classical music with classical rock, features five world-class vocalists and five top rock musicians. Now, the show is tonight from 8 to 9, 8 to 9.30 p.m., and tickets are on sale for between $60 and $120 through Ticketmaster. Check the Hippodrome website for more. Sounds like fun. Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow you could attend the Baltimore Humane Society's Easter Egg Stravaganza. Nice. It's not your typical Easter egg hunt, though. It's for both kids and pets and includes some unusual amusements as well as pictures with the Easter Bunny and Zumba. Zumba? It's from noon to 3 p.m. tomorrow, April 15th, at the Baltimore Humane Society on Nicodemus Road. Check out bemorehumane.org for more. And finally, also tomorrow, you could head to Wax and Wayne Fiber for a fun dip, dye, indigo wall hanging lesson. It's $45 per person, which includes the materials, and it's happening from 1 to 3 p.m. at the Wax and Wayne Fiber headquarters. Check their website to learn more. That's neat. Make yeah. a cool art piece for your wall. That's cool. Okay, so you may be familiar with our first guest today. He's Oprah's friend and former makeup artist. That's right. Reggie Wells is one of the best makeup artists in the business. He has worked with all types of celebrities, and now he's back in Baltimore. Today, he's showing us how makeup tips for the aging woman. Thank you for being here. Thanks we so appreciate much. it. I am back in b You are back. Baltimore. Be Welcome back. It's I'm so excited. It started here. It started here. Right. The first time I even called Oprah, wow. she didn't know who I was, mm. where I was. I said, I need to be with you. Wow. And God made it happen. Yes. It, five years later, I was working at Harper Studio. Nice. That's and you know what amazing. I always say? Closed mouths don't get fed. No. So how was it like working with yeah, Oprah? That's amazing. That. Let, we, let me just tell you something. In 45 that. years, I discovered so many people. I can imagine. But the giant of all people was Oprah Winfrey. Yeah. And my, po my point was, if you take Whitney Houston, Beyonce, you know, Halle Berry, all those people became before Oprah, but nothing can surpass the gift with Oprah. Mm, the That's Oprah effect. Yeah. I'm sure you have so many stories. We could talk Look for hours about your time with <laughs> Oprah. But you've also worked with some other A-list celebrities as well. Is that right? I loved Whitney Houston. Yeah. I mean, I miss her so much. Yeah, definitely. You know, this, Oprah and I used to work out together. We yeah. used to do all kinds of things. We lost weight together. Oh. And so, but my thing was, I wanted to be the first man, first black man to win an Emmy for a daytime talk show host. And you, and you did Oprah. that. And, Rounds and of applause yeah. for that. Thank you. I love Thank that. You. <laughs> Thank you, Oprah. And Reggie, you are back in Baltimore doing something very monumental. You're working with older women and showing us that no matter what the age, you know, beauty is truly within. And this is a community that sometimes is forgotten, but you're taking your creativity and helping them out. Let's I talk about I, that. I call it the forgotten woman. Yeah. My father is 96. I hadn't spent enough time with him. I've been away for 40 years. I said, let me come back and appreciate my father Definitely. being able to be alive and working. Right. And I looked at the women in the buildings of senior citizen living, 
they didn't get the friends to come over. They didn't get the family to stop by. Mm -hmm. So one day I decided, let me just put a lipstick on somebody. Mm -hmm. And she started to cry. Wow. She was 87 years old and she forgot what lipstick tastes mm. like. I said, now put your lips together and rub them and they look creamy. Look how juicy yours look. That's the key <laughs> <Hello. laughs> right there. And Rachel, when you, when you feel good, when you yeah. look good, you feel oh good. Oh my Absolutely. God. You look good. Let's, let's keep it If you're it's taking true. pills and everything else, I found out the best pill is to laugh and have fun. I love and that. I brought I that joy that. back, so I'm yeah. taking it all over America. Nice. That's fantastic. Let's talk about so her give look. Us some yeah. Tips. yeah. I met Dorothy at the home that we live in. And Dorothy, you look gorgeous. At, gorgeous. At the apartment building yeah. we live in. And Dorothy said to me one day, I know who you are. I said, You do? Keep it a secret, because I'm about to work. <laughs> I'm about to work nice. at Dorothy. Look at Dorothy. <laughs> this look is amazing. Talk it's to us how you created this. I created it with a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and, and a, a little, little bit, bit of, of magic. The magic. There and you, you know what happens? <laughs> I found out the slightest thing. We took and put as less as we could on Dorothy. Okay. And we just wanted to lighten her skin just a tad bit mm -hmm. and put a lip on her that really spoke the color she is in the dark caramel yeah, colors. Yeah, got some eyeshadows, some and, and look, and she got lashes. And she now. got lashes. You can't forget the lashes. Watch your eyes, Dorothy. <laughs> Man, go, she's, trying to, she's trying to get used to it. But watch this. Just a add it, just a little thing. Yeah. I love the apples. Y'all always forget the apples. Smile, oh, Dorothy. Smile. So the, while you're doing that, talk to us about what we should do differently as we age with our makeup. Should we do anything you know, differently? Good, yeah, you need to pay attention. Even if you're aging, it doesn't mean that you have to stop doing what you're doing. Yes. I, there are moisturizers. I believe in night creams. Yeah. You know, you girls are really sharp. But guess what? It's going to crack a little bit after a while. Natural. Natural. Right. natural. <laughs> so if you fight it and beat back at it, you know, we go in the gym to fight it. We can go <laughs> in and do these things at night and day. Movie stars have the biggest problems because they have to deal with lighting right. and under the lights. It's more than just every day yeah. going out to work, coming no. home, going and, to the gym. And Oprah's skin dried up under those lights. These yeah. lights are pretty, but they're harsh. So, if, so if what are some tips? Yeah, some tips for Like your top woman. two or three. My top two or three is to use a night cream. No night matter, cream? Not, okay. No matter how old you are. And then in day, put that sunscreen on. Thank God yes. now yeah, foundations definitely. come with, with sunscreen. Right. And you have to do that constantly over and over again. And keep your skin clean as possible. That means your eyes. Make sure you take off that makeup at night. Makeup at night. You know, some women like to do it. You know, Patty used to like to yeah. sleep in her uh, makeup. And I said, true. Patty, why are you sleeping no, in your makeup? I have a specific question. Yeah. Yeah. Give her a specific question. I've heard that when you get older, you shouldn't use as much powder because why? it can kind of sit into the lines. Is okay. that true? Well, that's true. But guess what? You can get rid of the lines now. Yeah, well, that's true. That's true. But let's focus on let's focus <laughs> our natural no, beauty. But that's natural beauty. But yeah. this is what I want to say: the word "natural." Mm -hmm. I don't use it because it's not true. There's nothing natural. You go home. At least I want to look natural. Going back home then. Because I'm here to. Don't hurt him, Reggie. Listen, it's enhancing. It's okay. enhancing. Yeah, sure. What yeah. you did, girls, and what she did is enhancing. enhancing. And I love so, that color on her. Isn't it's, that it's beautiful? Pop. And you have a makeup line as well. I used to have a makeup line Hissy called Fit. Hissy Fit. Yeah. Nice. And now I own the patent to this clock pot is Ooh, called. Talk to us about that. Oh, Look at I the see. clock pot. Okay. Nice. Look at that. That means in the hours of the day, you go from 12, and then you I start at 3, uh -huh. then you go to 6, and you go to 9. You're it's touching daytime up. to nighttime, it's all daytime in one night. product. Look at you, girl. Boom. Man, <laughs> I, don't, I knew you all would know how to do it. But look what's so wonderful. You never throw this oh, pot no. away, because I'm thinking about you all the time. Yeah, and it's when, a nice, versatile item as well. Well, when I designed it, Oprah had to say to me, make something that I can touch up when yes. I'm in the outside, because Any you're not going to be day. with me all the time. Absolutely. I said, well, I'm not going to teach you, because I want to be with you. <laughs> oh, okay, don't hurt Reggie. Thank you so much. We've had so much fun with you today. This is so great. This is like a makeup party. That's I know, how I, I feel. Love we'll be back. We'll be back <laughs> to course. talk more about it. Of course. Thank you so much. Thank Thank you. And you look yeah. fabulous. Thank you, Dorothy. <laughs> Up next, we are moving on to the serious topic of sexual assault. Why some of these crimes are never reported and what we can do to help. And spreading awareness through the power of hip hop, the knowledge one doctor is sharing with people of all ages to change statistics in the U.S. Keep it locked. You're watching Be Real Lifestyle.
Welcome back. So if you didn't know, April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month, and we wanted to bring light on this serious issue. That's right. Lisa Nitch from the House of Ruth, Maryland, is with us today to talk about what we can all do. Thank you so much for being with us. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank Definitely. you. Of course. So Very talk important. to us about the prevalence of sexual assault. It's tremendous. One in six women is going to be a victim of sexual assault. We don't wow. necessarily know the numbers on men because they're less likely yeah. to report, but we know that about 70% of victims are women and about 30% are men. It's a, it's a pretty... Um, we have a big issue going on and we're not really talking about it enough which contributes right. to the problem and the victims are all types of women all walks of life demographics let's yeah, talk about that's that. that's right it impacts Definitely. all demographics it doesn't matter about your your sexual orientation it doesn't matter yep. about your race socioeconomic status all that stuff everybody's sort of fair game unfortunately you yeah, know we talked about communication and it's sometimes really hard to report these crimes Absolutely. for women and not only women as well men that's right. so let's bring a highlight to that yeah men and women both carry a lot of shame when they've been victimized with a, a big misnomer is that the idea of stranger rape. A very mm -hmm. small percentage of rape and sexual assault happens by, by somebody that nobody knows. Quite mm -hmm. often it's a coworker, it's a classmate, it's a roommate, it's somebody that you're in a relationship with. And mm -hmm. so there's a lot of dynamics at play there that bring on the shame, make people question whether or not they did something to cause the assault. Absolutely. Yeah. So you mentioned relationships. Let's talk about sexual assault in the context of relationships right. because I assume more people would be less likely to come forward if it's somebody that they love or somebody that they've been with for a while. It's very confusing. Somebody who's says that they love you, is supposed right. to love you and care about you, is going to do something to hurt you. Um, it can be very confusing. It makes people really second guess themselves. But not only when we talk about sexual, um, when we talk about rape in and of itself, but yeah. also sexual coercion. And then we get into things like reproductive coercion or even reproductive yeah. sabotage when the yeah. context of marriages and long-term relationships. So um, what can we do as a community about sexual assault? You mentioned communication. That's definitely a key to absolutely. bring awareness to the issue. Yeah, a couple of things. One, keep the focus on the perpetrator. Oftentimes we think about sexual assault, we, we make it, talk about it like it is sex. It's a sex act. That's the way it is for the perpetrator. The perpetrator sees it as sex. The victim feels it's a violent assault, and mm -hmm. that's what it is. Um, not second guessing, obviously, victims' behaviors, what they chose to wear, what they did. You know, being drunk isn't a crime. Rape is. Hello. Keep the focus on the perpetrator at all times. Absolutely. And then we need to talk about healthy sexual behaviors. We need to yeah. send out messages. We need to talk about the prevalence. We can tweet about it, put it on Facebook, make it part of the conversation that we know this is happening because so often victims feel alone. Having that Absolutely. open dialogue. Absolutely, all the time. Yeah. yeah, and so if somebody has been sexually assaulted, they feel they've been violated, what are their options? Yeah. Where can they go? So they can call the House of Ruth. They can call our 20 24-hour hotline. It's 410-889-RUTH. That's 24 hours a day. There's a live person to take that call. We'll direct them to the right services. So good to know. Not everybody wants to take a criminal route. Not, every, right. not, not all sexual assaults rise to the level of criminal, but they all impact victims. We know 80% of victims are going to have long-term psychological and physical effects, including wow. a 13% increase, or 13 times more likely to commit suicide. Wow. We really need Staggering. to work on it. Thank we you, do. Lisa. Thank you so yeah, much. So I'm glad much. to be here. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Very important topic. I agree. Well, staying on the topic of sex, STDs are another huge issue that needs more education across all ages. But check this out. Our media partner, Circa, shows us how one family physician is using the power of rap music to spread awareness and is, and is also being used to present many wonderful workshops at clinics, at schools, and even churches. Check it out. Levels start zinging, running through the dates, casual hookups and flinging. Feeling bulletproof, no guidance they seek. Making bad decisions every day of the week. I want to educate you about your private parts. I'm Rap Dr. D, let's have a heart to heart. My goal of this rap is I want to put the fear in ya. Teen bodies all like a cootie cafeteria. Chlamydia, trichomonas, syphilis too. Add gonorrhea, that's serious, dude. You can get infected from all types of sex. Your mouth, your butt, your eyes, and all of the rest. Most can be prevented if you cover your junk. Leave the condoms off, you'll come home with the funk. You may be tore up now and not even know. It's off to the STD clinic you go. spreads with mass hysteria not really a virus and not a bacteria causes funky discharge and itching too trick spreads like crazy 
before it's through. Chlamydia sucks, and you know that I'm not joking. Fogging up your tubes, make those girl parts broken. Gonorrhea is gross, make the pus to drip drop. Running like a faucet, gotta clean up with a mop. With oral sex, you can get it in your throat. Believe me when I tell y'all that the clap is gross. Next one is heavy, it's trouble, it's syphilis. Spread to the brain and make you act ridiculous. Play it safe, it's your call. Don't have sex and you won't get them at all. But sex without protection, what do you know? It's off to the STD clinic you go. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to be on Naked and Afraid? Whoa. Up next, we sit down with a local woman to hear about her experience surviving on the hit TV I show. I cannot wait. That's definitely one of my favorite shows. <laughs> and we know our cell phone can easily break down. Yep. We'll tell you how to permanently save some of those meaningful messages. You're watching Be More Lifestyle. Keep it locked. Welcome back. So have you ever wondered what would it be like to be on the TV show Naked and Afraid? Ooh. If you're not familiar with this show, it is the ultimate survivor challenge. That's right. One man <laughs> and one woman have to survive together for 21 days with no food, uh -oh. water, shelter, or clothing. I couldn't do it. I'm Gabrielle sorry. Balzone <laughs> from right here in Westminster, Maryland, just appeared on a fan challenge episode where she had to survive for 14 days and she is here today. Thank you so much for joining us. Absolutely. Thank we you for having me. We appreciate it. How was your experience oh like? My oh my goodness. Uh, I imagine it was It was crazy. awesome. I had a great time. <laughs> it was it was a challenge, but I loved it. I'm sure it sounds pretty intense. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about it. So I applied last July and last August I filmed the episode. It's 14 mm -hmm. days in South wow. Africa, oh Eastern gosh. Cape. <laughs> so for amazing. those who, you know, haven't seen the episode yet, did you survive? I made it all 14 days. Yeah, <laughs> girl. You go, Thank girl. You go, Thank you. girl. That's amazing. So were you intimidated going into this? Uh, definitely the, the naked part's a little bit intimidating. Yeah. But, um, How was that like, just being naked on TV and uh, haven't You know, honestly, for the first three minutes, it's awkward, yeah, but, you, get used um, but to after, it, right? you have so many things to do and so many right, things to accomplish sure. while you're out there that there's not a whole lot of time to focus on that. And to be honest, <laughs> we all have the same parts. You're let's exactly be, right. I mean, Whatever. Let's be real. Uh -huh. <laughs> before. So how was your partner? Uh, he's amazing. Uh -huh. um, his name's Jonathan. He's from Panama City Beach, Florida. Wow. Okay. Um, a lot of times you see people out on the show that are just jerks. Yeah. And he was about as nice as a person that's I could awesome. ever be put there with. Oh, that's great. That's yeah. so cool. I feel like every experience in life, you learn something from it. Absolutely. What did you learn from being on that Ooh. show? Um, well, looking back on it, nothing's ever going to be that hard. If you can do that for 14 days, oh, yeah. you know, oh, right. you can get through a, a half an hour job interview or whatever. Like, what's like, that? Like, throws away. <laughs> exactly right. Nothing's ever going to be that tough. That's what made you want to be on the TV show? Yeah. Um, I, I have watched it since the beginning. Yeah, and I, I always saw it, and I thought, I could do anything I ever saw those people do. Right. Um, and I wanted to give it a try. I love hiking, camping, being outdoors. Never done it naked, but <laughs> give it a try, right? Now you yeah. have. Yeah. So what was it? Compared to actually watching the show and then being in it, right. what were the biggest differences? Oh, Real yeah. deal. Give uh, yeah, I mean, it is uh, it is every bit as challenging and as difficult as it looks on television. Um, but that being said, you have to understand 14 days was cut into 48 minutes. Right. There's wow. a lot of places or a lot of things that happen behind the scenes that you miss. Mm -hmm. um, they can't put everything that happens in there. Right. Um, but it, it is difficult. So if there was <laughs> one thing, what would be the hardest part of being on the show. Um, you gotta pick one goal. Every episode's different, but my episode um, was the cold, the, way, the rain, I'm mm. sorry. My episode, it was the cold, the wind, the rain. Yeah. Um, it was freezing, 40 couple degrees at night. Can oh I tell gosh. you, you are amazing. <laughs> there is no, I hate the cold period. The cold so is horrible. Naked with the cold, girl, you a boss. <laughs> I couldn't do it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's it's incredible. Yeah. That's amazing. Awesome. <laughs> we are out of time, but I want to thank you so much sure. for being here. I commend you <laughs> for being yes. able to do Thanks that. Thanks for having me. Give her some props. <laughs> there we go. Thanks so much. That so was fun. cool. <laughs> well, it's getting harder these days to keep up with the growing technology, but our media partner, Tech Tango, is giving us some pointers. This week's tech tip is all about how you can permanently save those meaningful messages. Check it out, guys. Jill sent in, how do you save a voicemail message? Maybe you want to save a voicemail from an aging parent or a silly message from a child. To keep it for a long time, you should copy the message to a new location in the event your phone is lost or damaged. To save a voicemail message on an iPhone, go to the message and tap share icon. 
From there, you can email the message to yourself, save it to Dropbox or other cloud services. This is free and easy. Android users can use an online service such as Voicemails Forever, which costs about $19.99. This service works with most carriers and saves messages as an MP3 file. I'm Francie Black with your Tech Tip Today. For more great tips, visit techtangotoday.com. We have a nice, versatile show we for this do. Friday we from Makeup Tips. Wells. Oh, yes. the very king cool of to all chat kings. With Oprah's makeup artist. Yeah, that's awesome. Sexual awareness, very important bringing awareness to this assault. issue. Yeah. yeah. And Naked and Afraid. Would you go on that show? Would you go on that show? I don't know. <laughs> would you? I think I would. <laughs> <laughs> and we want to hear from you. Email us things you want to hear about or things you want to share. And to find out how you can be featured on our show, email us at TV at gmail.com. Now, before we go, we want to leave you with this thought. That's right. With the demands of work and family, it might feel that there is not much time left over for you. Yeah. But we all need time to rest and recharge. I agree. If your life feels so busy that you're convinced you can't even manage a few hours for yourself, then it is especially crucial that you carve out some me time this week. Weekend. So this weekend, I want you guys to have a me date. So what is a me date? It's taking a couple of hours to do something for yourself, by yourself. That makes you feel amazing. It can be anything. <laughs> going to get your hair done, mm -hmm. reading, working out. Going for I a want hike you... in the beautiful weather. Yeah, going on yeah. a hike. I really want you guys to just focus on you and have a fabulous weekend with yourself. Yes, have a me <laughs> date. Let us know me how date. it goes. I'm going to have a me date, y'all. Give myself a favor. <laughs> Thank you so much for inviting us into your home. We'll see you guys Monday. Thank <laughs> you.